For decades, the roads have belonged to machines that burned, rattled, and wore themselves down with every mile. But something else is coming. It doesn't announce itself with smoke or the deep growl of an engine. It moves in near silence, a smooth hum replacing the clatter and roar we've always known. It carries the same weight, the same cargo, yet somehow feels lighter in the air, on the road, in the world. This change won't crash overnight. It will arrive quietly, mile by mile, until one day we'll look up and realize the road has changed beneath our feet. The weight of old roads. For as long as most of us can remember, diesel trucks have been the lifeblood of highways. They haul food, fuel, and everything in between, crossing continents with engines that consume as much as they carry. A typical diesel semi might manage 6.5 miles per gallon, a figure that sounds efficient until you understand what that means in energy. Each gallon holds about 38 kilowatt hours, and most of it is lost as heat, vibration, and noise. Only around 30% become motion. The rest disappears into the air. Multiply that loss by millions of trucks, driving billions of miles each year, and you begin to see the cost, not just in fuel, but in emissions, in noise, in the constant grind of maintenance. These machines are strong, but their strength comes at a price the planet keeps paying. They're heavy in every sense, heavy on resources, heavy on infrastructure, heavy on the air we breathe. And yet, until recently, there's been no real alternative for moving goods at this scale. Change seemed impossible. The roads felt locked in time, tied to an old rhythm of combustion. But beneath that weight, a new kind of machine has been waiting to take its place in the flow. The quiet machine. When Tesla first unveiled its semi in 2017, it didn't just show a new truck. It showed a challenge to everything the industry thought was fixed. The shape alone was enough to turn heads, smooth curves where there were once sharp edges, no grill to gulp air, no towering mirrors catching the wind. But beyond the look was a bigger question. Could an electric truck carry the same loads over the same distances without losing the efficiency it promised? Critics pointed to the battery. A pack big enough to drive hundreds of miles could hold close to a megawatt hour of energy. That kind of capacity comes with weight, and weight eats into payload. In many countries, there are strict limits on how heavy a loaded truck can be. The fear was simple. To go electric, the semi might have to give up too much cargo. Yet Tesla's claims were hard to ignore. Less than two kilowatt hours of energy per mile. Less maintenance, more control. The idea seemed bold, maybe too bold. But it wasn't a dream. It was a machine, and it was real. And it was built for the road ahead. The first cut through air. One of the semi's most striking advantages isn't hidden in the battery or buried in the software. It's written across its shape. Trucks have always been blunt instruments, built for utility more than elegance. At highway speeds, more than half the force they fight comes from drag, the invisible hand of air pushing back against their progress. Most diesel semis carry a drag coefficient close to 0.65. The Tesla Semi is just 0.36. That's the same as a Bugatti Veyron, though the truck's massive front still meets far more wind. This isn't by chance. The cab slopes gently, guiding air instead of breaking it. There's no grill sucking in turbulence. Cameras replace side mirrors, cutting away another piece of resistance. Wheel covers smooth the sides, while panels close the gap between the cab and trailer. Even the undercarriage, so often ignored, is flush and clean. Each detail works like a small, quiet rebellion against wasted energy. At speed, 
These refinements mean less work for the motors, less drain on the battery, and more miles before stopping to charge. The semi doesn't just move through the air. It reshapes its path, slipping through the wind where others crash against it. And the savings begin before a single mile is driven, riding in the wake. Aerodynamics can go further when trucks don't travel alone. The semi is designed for platooning, moving in tight formation with other trucks, each one riding in the slipstream of the one ahead. This isn't new. Diesel drivers have done it for years when the road allows. But with autonomous control, it can be done with precision, holding gaps so close that the air flows almost as if they were a single body. The gains are shared. The lead truck, often thought to carry the hardest burden, feels less drag because the following truck disrupts the low pressure zone behind it. Studies show it can save around 10% of its energy. The middle truck benefits most, shielded on both sides, using nearly 17% less. Even the last in line saves 13%. Over long distances, those numbers grow into real miles, real money, and real time. It's a kind of quiet cooperation, machines using the air together, each one making the road a little easier for the next. In a world where efficiency is measured in fractions, this shared movement turns the wind itself into an ally. And for electric trucks, every saved watt stretches the road a little further. The four hearts. Beneath the smooth body, the semi is driven by four independent electric motors, each one a heart beating for its wheel. This choice is more than a matter of power. It's about control, efficiency, and the ability to adapt to the road in real time. On a long, steady cruise, not all four motors need to work. Two can handle the load, letting the others rest. This lowers friction and keeps the system operating at its most efficient point. In a diesel truck, the single large engine must always run, even when it's barely working. Electric motors behave differently. By dividing the work among smaller units, Tesla can keep each motor closer to its ideal operating range. When power is needed, climbing a hill, overtaking traffic, all four engage instantly, delivering torque without hesitation. When demand falls, they return to an easy rhythm. This flexibility doesn't just save energy, it reduces wear. Each motor carries less strain over time, extending its life. It's an idea that trades brute force for balance. Instead of one engine dragging the entire machine forward, the semi spreads the load across four precise, responsive machines, each doing just enough, never more than it must. The power in the glass. Efficiency in an electric motor isn't only about how much energy it uses. It's about how much of that energy turns into motion. To explain, imagine a glass of beer. The liquid is the useful power, the part that moves the truck. The foam on top is the energy spent creating magnetic fields inside the motor, necessary, but not directly moving the wheels. When a large motor runs far below its capacity, the foam stays the same while the liquid shrinks. The proportion of wasted energy grows. This is what happens in a diesel truck's single big engine, or a large electric motor running gently at highway speeds. The semi's four smaller motors change that balance. When demand is low, only the motors that can operate efficiently are active. Each one runs closer to its ideal load, filling the glass with more liquid and less foam. The result is less wasted energy and more work from every unit of power stored in the battery. It's a quiet, almost invisible change, but over hundreds of miles, it becomes the difference between stopping for a charge and making it to the destination. The small losses that matter. In any motor, some energy is lost as heat in the copper windings. These are called copper losses, and they rise sharply with current. The relationship is simple. 
losses equal the current squared, multiplied by the resistance. That squared part makes small differences in current matter a lot. If a single large motor needs 100 kilowatts, it might draw 100 amps. With a resistance of half an ohm, that's 5,000 watts lost as heat. Split the same work across four smaller motors, each drawing just 25 amps, and the total loss drops to around 1,250 watts. The physics stay the same whether the motor is small or large. Less current means less waste. This isn't just about saving energy. Heat is wear. It stresses components, shortens life, and forces cooling systems to work harder. By dividing the load, the semi doesn't just travel farther on a charge. It reduces the invisible strain that slowly grinds a machine down. Every saved watt Every cooler winding is another mile of service life. And over a million miles, those small, hidden savings become the reason a truck still runs like it did on its first day. The Silent Thieves Even when a diesel truck is standing still, its engine is still working to power the systems that keep it running. Air conditioning, coolant pumps, fans, and compressors together can draw around 50 kilowatts. This is parasitic power, quietly stealing fuel without moving the wheels an inch. It's an unseen cost, paid mile after mile. The Tesla Semi has no idling engine. Every auxiliary system is electric, controlled with precision. Instead of running at full tilt all the time, each draws only what it needs, when it needs it. Cooling fans spin down when airflow from the road is enough. Pumps adjust their speed to match demand. The air conditioning runs efficiently instead of fighting the heat at full blast. That 50 kilowatt drain shrinks to around 15. It's still there. Physics demands it, but it's smaller, tamed. Throughout a journey, this difference alone can mean dozens of extra miles before charging. And unlike in diesel trucks, those saved miles don't come with a cloud of exhaust. The thieves are still there, but they've been cut down to size, their hands no longer deep in the truck's reserves. One day, the shift will be complete. Highways will hum instead of roar. The smell of diesel will fade, replaced by the faint scent of rain on warm asphalt. The trucks will still carry the world's weight, but they will do it differently, quieter, cleaner, and with less taken from the air we share. Drivers will measure their days not in gallons burned, but in miles gained. And the road, worn for decades under the strain of old engines, will feel lighter too. The change will not come all at once, but when it does, it will feel like it was always meant to be.